to Equator 95 and uh, I think I joined the team late and uh, I managed to 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 have some uh, games in the team but I mean those days you have players like um, uh, um, Sule uh, Baba Sule uh, you have Abu Idrisu, Audi Saka and the rest so uh, it was a little bit tough for me but I remember when we came with the cup, when we won the cup, we came to Ghana and then there was this uh, reception at the Accra Sports Stadium. And uh, when he was giving his speech, he said there was a guy who didn't get a chance to play uh, a lot of games, but Ghana should watch out for, for, for this guy, he's going to be a great player in the future. And indeed, uh, I mean, with, with God, it happens. And uh, every, day, every day we see ourselves, I mean, I kept reminding him. He has been a father, uh, he has been uh, somebody that we all ask uh, advice from. I mean, it's, it's sad to be here today, uh, seeing his casket that we're going to see. We're not going to see him again, but I mean, that's, that, that, that's life. I hope that he's going to, to rest in the bosom of the Lord. After school, I'm a call, Olympics. If he, if he call Olympics. In the Olympics, I went to encounter him, not as a coach, but as an as a as a as a as an opponent to the coach i mean an opponent to the coach and a competitor to the coach and a uh, team and coach which was Oko united at the time and a couple of times anytime we have a meeting we are uh, me, 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 national team you know i'm very close to being a member of the national team because only me that then yeah. like that and you know every time we have a shape uh, we are playing for olympics you no know, or mommy some assurance and then eventually i became a coach maybe you know, so, so, you know Still in coaching, I mean, Robert joining coaching. He always had a word of advice for me, you know. Um, with any kind of engagement, he has something to tell me about coaching, and you know, perhaps I'll share my matches as well. You know, he makes it a point, you know, to get in touch with me to tell me areas that you know I need to work on and stuff like that. Because around that time, I knew a giant mainstream coach, and I know coach, or yeah, technical director of uh, final. You know, so more or less, he's always been an inspiration to me. Uh, the man, Coach Ade, we are talking about, is a man, not only me, Frank Nelson, who show appreciation to. He's a man everybody knows for his gentleness. He's a man everybody knows for his calmness. He's a man everybody knows for his counseling ability. He's a man who wants to talk to you when the environment is conducive. He's a man who calls you and says, hold on, don't react. This is the man we are talking. In terms of football, we cannot talk about him. Because, I mean, the pages are so many that you cannot, but everybody will always remember him. About the system, we all know him, the multi-system, you must remember the Ecuador. So everybody wants to talk about that. This is one of the greatest hallmarks. But for me, he's a fine gentleman, a man sometimes who wish, if you have to ask, should people die? You say, no, they should live more. But the Lord who owns everything has decided. And I think that all we have to do now is to bid him farewell and make sure that he gets to the bosom of the Lord. He has a resting place. So he's a gentleman, a perfect character, a man you cannot doubt his character, a man you can... I've never heard somebody say he's fighting with Coach Ade since I began, I began my race in football. So he's somebody at all times you can point finger and say, this is a blameless man. I'm not saying he's right, all righteous, but all of us, we are aiming for a bit. Coach Ade is somebody at all times you can use as a model to demonstrate peace, love in everything you do. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start from because the man, the man is an uh, do we say the epitome of all the qualities that we we, we want to talk about in uh, 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 in, in coaching he has everything and some of us he made us you see we've been with him i was with him in the and uh, uh, the u17 throughout the preparation and then during the tournament and after the tournament we were together when he had the national team, the black senior national team, the Black Stars. He also invited me as his assistant. Uh, after that, uh, at Feyenoord, I was always with him, doing all sorts of work. And uh, uh, when he became the vice chairman of the Technical and Development Committee, it was the same thing. Then when he became the chairman of the Technical and Development Committee, I was almost the one. Just as, as a secretary, I was working, doing everything for him. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say about Adi. Anytime we traveled, he never allowed me to stay in my room. I would be sleeping with him. 
in his own room. So uh, even if, if those who did not know the, the, the sort of relationship that existed between him and myself, we think that I was a, a servant to him. But well, even if I was a servant, it, it did not matter because the man had everything for me. He took time to, 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 to make me, and uh, I think what I am, I will say that yes, it was Adi. He did a lot of work, though other people also uh, uh, helped, but Adi did a lot to put me where I am now. When I was living for uh, 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 the Gabon, when CAF invited me as the technical and development, uh, uh, technical study group member, he had to sit down to uh, 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 coach me in so many things before getting to Gabon. It was at Gabon when I heard that uh, something was happening. He was not well, he was taken to the hospital. Immediately I came, the day that I was supposed to go and visit him at the hospital, uh, we, 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 we had this problem. So, as for Adi, I cannot say this or that, but in fact, he, he is me and I am him. That is all what I can say. Thank you too. It's not only my friend, my mentor, my superman in football in the industry. Um, I, I have a lot, a lot of stories to say about him, fun memories, and it is, it is always, it will always good to have a mentor who understands the game, who who is in love to produce, to come out with good products. And I thank God that uh, I'm one of his, his products. And, uh, we, 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 we've, lost, we've lost a hero. But uh, just like we know, when the good Lord says yes, no one can say no. So, I mean, the current coaches, almost about 90% have gone through his hands. Even at the time, at the time when he formed the fair note, Huh? He, he, he took in a lot of coaches, young coaches, to the academy. And I, if, if I, I could remember Zito, Saki, a lot. And, uh, and today, all of them, all, all, those, all those coaches are big, big coaches. And some of us who were around too have benefited a lot from him. And we still benefit until the good Lord called him. Uh, first of all, he was my his a father, then a coach. Because in '92, when I was in the national team, he was my coach. Then he became my mentor. You know, I became his mentee, and I served with him on the technical and development committee of the Ghana Football Association. And again, I was. He was the, the, the scout coordinator during the 2014 World Cup, and I was a scout. And so we did very, so many things very closely. He, he, he combined the, the young and then the experience levels in his, in his stewardship as a, the chairman of the technical development committee. And I think that he is somebody that you know gives the young the opportunity to to grow and he appreciates the ideas not the yes type he wants you know the the coach who has his own opinion he, wa he wants a, a member of the committee who has his own opinion and then can academically criticize issues and so I'm one person that he had great beliefs in. Before his uh, demise, he was with me in Pram Pram. He visited me, but I didn't know he was paying me farewell. He visited me and told me so many things, which I think I have to, you know, write, you know, a piece uh, about my relationship with him. And we had a lengthy chat. On that day, he drove in, sat in the driver's uh, 
in the passenger seat in front and asked me to sit in his driver's seat. We chatted for over an hour in his car. Then I drove him to the field. Then after us, he, he told me we'll talk again. And we spoke the day Ghana played against Cameroon. And then he was asking me what the score was, have Ghana scored when the game had not even started. Neither did I know he was on admission. But he was that person that could endure. You know, even at that age, he was still thinking about football, you can imagine. And I think that we have lost, you know, a great person. The vacuum created is very big. You know, and, and he, for us, he had nurtured us to an extensive level and I believe that we are celebrating him. We are not mourning him. I played the first time for the Black Stars. It was in 1999. Uh, sorry, in 1991. And um, we used to come at Winneba. And already uh, there, Coach Ade was there with his youth teams. I had a fantastic relationship. You know, when I formed when I was on the verge of forming the Players Association, there were a few people I went to for consultation. And he said, go ahead with him, with it. You face a tough time in the beginning, but go ahead with it. And he was also my chairman on the technical committee. He coached me uh, in a few games as well with the Black Stars. A man full of knowledge, disciplinarian. And uh, he has something like positive arrogance on the pitch. Very self-confident, he was standing there. And uh, I will never forget when the Black Stars played in Holland and he had uh, standing ovations uh, from the crowd over there. He went to Manchester as well to meet Alex Ferguson, he met Cantona and he was telling me about it. Every Monday we used to talk about Ghana football. We all remember Samadhi as the trend and set, set, trend setter on the continent by being the first coach to win a medal for Africa at the Olympic Games with the Black Meteors, Ghana's under 23 side. Some led the Black Meteors to finish third at the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona with an impressive group outing where they defeated Australia 3 1 before holding Denmark and Mexico to advance to the quarterfinals. Under the multi system man, the Black Meteors defeated Paraguay before falling to Spain in the semis. Some told the players to be determined. And despite the defeat, they dusted themselves down to beat Australia at the new camp to pick the bronze medal. The achievements of Coach Samade at the Barcelona Olympics help players like Kwame Ayu, Nio Datelamte, Shabokwe, Joe Debra, Sami Kufo, Maswe Kunedu, Abdali Kuma, Gago Mohamed, Gaprepo, Alex Nyako to become a household names in Africa because of their performances at the tournament. Three years later, Sam once again led Ghana to the global success, steering the Black Starlets to win the Under-17 World Cup title in Ecuador. This career of players like Steven Apia, Aoudou Isaka, who was nicknamed the Disco Dancer by Sam, Christian Jan, Christian Saba, Emmanuel Bento, and the rest took off. All of these accomplished their goals in football to the highest level. This is just to mention a few of the numerous successes of Samadhi because to write all will require a few days to finish.